welcome. You know, the fans matter. And we got a few more questions we will answer, or try to. And the first one is? Alright, how <laughs> did Elvis decide on his autograph signature? Was it an accident? Did he practice multiple before he found the perfect one? Or was that actually how he always signed his name? That That's exactly how he signed his name. Always signed his name. Very uh, quick. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What were both of your reactions to Aloha from Hawaii? Was the magnitude of the show reaching a billion people, and what did you all think, and were you there? I wasn't there. Uh, uh, wasn't, I wasn't working for him at that time. I was actually working for the railroad. But I watched it, and golly. And I just, thought it was uh, awesome. Uh, unbelievable. Awesome. I thought he done just things. But that was every show I ever saw him do. I thought yeah, Vegas. I, yeah, on but I, I thought he put more a more lot. In, more into it because and he looked great. Was, yeah, and he. It, I mean, he he was having a he was in front of the live audience there yeah. too. But I think him knowing it was going out to around the world. Yeah. Uh, which he wanted to, you know, tour, and he, he knew that, you know, he wanted to give one of the best shows he could possibly give, and he did. Um, let's see, I have one that says, Happy Birthday, Billy. Oh, so, by the time this, you. this was recorded on his birthday, by the time this one airs, it'll have been two weeks ago, but, <laughs> um, it says, my parents and I watched Follow That Dream for the first time today. Um, I, in one of my videos, I shared the, the story that you told in Elvis the Record Magazine about uh, dressing up to be Anne Ham's double. And um, she said, what was Billy's reaction to seeing yourself in, the, in your first movie? And did you watch the final cut with Elvis and Joe? Uh, yeah, I got to, we got to watch the, uh, what they call the dailies. Okay. And, uh. I thought it done a hell of a job. I did too. <laughs> <laughs> no, I tell you the truth about it, I was uh, excited, but yet a little nervous. Nervous. Because, uh, you know, uh, I don't care. <laughs> I was a little a jealous. Car coming at you, you know. You know, you know I, I was a little jealous. Was you? Your breasts were bigger than mine. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you blow a balloon up any size. Yeah. It? It, what, it is, that what, is that it what they had good. in your shirt were balloons? Because I told when when we reenacted here, grapefruit. we had grapefruit in yeah. the uh, Okay. So, um, let's see. Why did Elvis often have his guests to come and visit, and he did it in Lisa's room? Like, uh, hang out in her room. He had a... Um, Lazy Boy recliner in there. In fact, we got him one for Christmas, his last Christmas, and a, a lot of times just to get out of his room and he didn't want to go downstairs or into his office, he would go into Lisa's room okay. and the ice maker was in there and, you know, he could shoot it. And, okay. Well, he could get ice. He could get ice and, you know, and it was just private. If, if somebody was up there with him, you know, and he wanted to be talk private about something instead of going trying to go he'd just go and leave Lisa if she was not at Graceland at one time it was actually a coffee room yeah okay had a big round you know he may have just got in the habit of going in there and just yeah <laughs> just you know <laughs> okay but uh when it became Lisa's room you know he just got a habit of going in there because you know uh, it was Lisa's room okay um, how many bedrooms does Graceland have and where are they all located? Well, let's see. The garage, apartment, one bedroom, <laughs> off the kitchen. Do you want when he first bought Graceland? Or now. The middle or the end? Why don't you start when he bought it when and I tell about it? any reno renovate renovations. Okay, done. when he first bought Graceland, upstairs, there was his bedroom and two more bedrooms. There was a petition right behind his bathroom. 
a notification, an actual wall, I wall. should have said. And uh, that was a bedroom which had uh, two uh, double beds in it. And then the one cross had a, a regular size bed. Okay. And uh, downstairs was his mother's room. And there was a bedroom. Off the kitchen. Off the kitchen. And there was one downstairs, which never was finished up, but they had a bed in there, which was right off the TV room. There's a door there that goes in, and then you turn yeah. to your right, and uh, there's a closet there, and you can go straight down the hall. And that the was bathroom, where Charlie and, stayed in the beginning. And, yeah. Uh, uh, in the in the middle, uh, you had the same. Uh, layout except the wall was removed that became Elvis's dressing room okay. and he turned the middle room into a conference room and downstairs naturally was his mm -hmm. mother's room the okay. one off the kitchen and the one downstairs okay. and when you say and middle about what time frame would you say uh, well I would say probably in uh, early 60s yeah, uh, I would say about 61 okay. uh, or 60, 60 or 61. That's when he had the garage apartment out there. They closed in. It was a three-car garage, which is a was a big, you know, big area. Mm -hmm. And that's and, where uh, Patsy and Marty stayed out there. Uh, with their kids for a short time, and and then later Charlie moved out there after after Marty bought a house. They uh, Charlie moved out there, and that's okay. where he stayed. Later, after Elvis passed, Vernon moved there in the garage apartment. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, that's what it was closed in for. For for the for D and yeah for Vernon and, and the boys for, and the boys yeah and. Uh, then, of course, I could run and bought his house, yeah. you know, and uh, which joined Graceland gotcha. and had a gate, gate, you know, cut and a golf cart that he could, you know, drive yeah. up, which he never did. He hardly ever, you know. Did he have a house on Old Hickory? Uh, I know he had and two first, houses. Yeah. One, he had one over there and another one over there. I then probably he had, had one on Old Hickory and one on a Hermitage. Hermitage, yeah. And then, then, then the one on, on Dolan. Dolan, mm -hmm. Dolan yeah. But anyway, uh, when they the last one was when they put that garage up, turned the garage into an apartment. Uh, that's where it stayed from there. Mm -hmm. gotcha. All right. Um, this was a question. You covered it back um, in in one of our videos. I think probably this will be probably last week's video. But um, so you you had not heard that. Um, Elvis had planned to get back with Priscilla before he passed away. No way. No. No. Okay. no. Okay. I'm sorry. That's just not true. Uh, it was, in fact, you know, there was at never any mention of getting back with her. Okay. Uh, like I said, he didn't cross that that bridge and wasn't gonna cross it again. Gotcha. Uh, he still cared about you know Priscilla. Uh, because that was, you know, uh, his wife at one time and his uh, daughter's, daughter's, mother. daughter's mother, you know. Gotcha. So, and they talked, you know, they had to talk. I mean, they had right. to communicate you a child, because yeah. of child, you know. But uh, it was, no, he wasn't going, he wasn't going to gotcha. you know, get back with it all. What, um, what do you and Nanny think about Priscilla being able to be buried at Graceland? I guess the final decisions come out. Uh, whatever they want to do, but uh, I don't think so. I don't think it's any of our business. No, it's not uh, any of our business. But, but you know, I, just, I, I don't think she should. I don't know why she wants to. Is you know. Uh, uh, 
and she definitely, I mean, there's somebody already buried next to Elvis. So, I mean, I can understand if she want to be by her, her daughter, but then, well, we then don't what know about it. her son, you know? Yeah, I, I just, I, I don't just, know where they had planned on putting her, you know. Right. But. And, and I, she's not his widow. Right. That's no, what I was going to say. No. I just find it odd because she's not his widow now. If she was his widow and she wanted to, be, by all means, look how many did. other people she has has lived with and made a life with, and she was with Marco, I think, for like 21 years, and I mean, you know, she she moved on with other people that she was in a relationship with much longer than she was with Elvis. So why? I think it's odd. Other but I mean, than just the notoriety is that the word yeah, of, uh, of, of being buried being there. buried at Graceland uh, I don't know why she would want to be uh, and I don't know I can that, understand Benjamin and I can understand Lisa yeah but, you know uh, not Priscilla no I mean I don't think it's just because that's right. just my that's opinion. just our I opinion just, but uh, you know I, I I just um I just don't think uh, but it's not our it's, it's not, not our, our decision, decision you know, right, right. Okay, um, who of Ginger or Linda was at Graceland when Jerry Lee Lewis drove into the gates in the fall of 76? Uh, I thought it was Linda. Linda. Yes. Best I can remember. That's, that's what I thought too, Linda. Okay. Um, what sessions did Billy attend in the 70s? Recording sessions? Mm -hmm. Uh, gosh. We went to Nashville. Uh, you, of course, you went uh, I think with him several pretty times. much all of them. Yeah. Uh, at the we, end were, there, we were at the know, one that they brought out. Um, with a sound truck. Uh, yeah, at Graceland. We Graceland were there after. when he recorded that. Uh, uh, I got to go one time or two times to Nashville. You yeah. went every time. They, yeah. they would come off of tour or off of a movie and go to Nashville for a uh, week stay week home or so. maybe a week and then he'd, go to, yeah, you know, he'd have to do his uh, uh, recording. He'd go to, go to uh, mm -hmm. Nashville, you know, to record. Uh, of course, you know, he recorded it in Memphis, you know, too. And, uh, yeah, what was Stax? Well, no, it was uh, um, American American Studio. Studios. Uh, yeah. Uh, but Marty, uh, Marty had uh, a lot to do with that. Yeah, he he set that up. Mm-hmm. There's Mormon. Uh, Chip's Mormon. Chip's Mormon. Chip's Mormon. Mo Mormon. I think it's Mormon. Uh, yeah, I'm not really sure. How I'm not sure that. how to pronounce it. But Marty had a big. Uh, uh, somebody said it was Mark James and somebody else, but it wasn't. It was Marty. So, you know, Marty should have the credit for that because he was the main, main influence on yeah, that instrument in about. that. So, um, with it being April, it's a, this is a good one here. Did Elvis ever play an April Fool's joke on Billy or Joe? He played all kinds of played jokes. He played all the time, jokes. Right? It didn't have to be, it didn't have April, to be uh, April. <laughs> You know, I can't uh, can't really I can't really remember any. Uh, he would get so excited about a joke that he was going to pull, or if he was going to tell a joke, that he would almost blow it. He'd him. almost yeah. blow it. He couldn't because he he was like this to say, "This is just between me and you, and it's a secret. Don't tell anybody." And then, but everybody knew. Then everybody else would be going, "Did you hear about? Something? Where'd you hear that from?" Elvis told me. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, well, we know. He, he could not keep a secret. <laughs> he wanted you to because he wanted He wanted to, be the first one to tell it. He wanted to be the one that told it to everybody. Um, what were your, and I know what the question is trying to say, and I'm trying to word it so it comes out. Um, when the, um, that, the presidential award was awarded to um, Elvis, mm -hmm. and, um, how did you feel about none of the family being there to accept that? I thought it was a disgrace. I did too. Uh, I, I thought, you know, they they I mean, let him down. You know, one of them. One person have could been have been there. there, not Jack. 
Jack uh, wouldn't. Whether you family. liked him as a president or not, or Republican or Democrat or whatever, that was a an one honor. heck of an honor. Mm -hmm. It was. Know? And uh, I think one of the family, any one of them, mm -hmm. but not Jack So Yeah. If you had been asked to accept on his behalf, would you have done it? Oh, most in a definitely. minute. Definitely, yes, yes. Most definitely. God, to get to, <laughs> get to meet the president and get that medal too? Sure. Mm -hmm. And to know that I he, would, uh, you know, appreciated what Elvis and and acknowledged how how he how special Elvis would that would have been Elvis would have just been in awe of that yeah Let's next see. to the uh, ten outstanding young yeah. men I think that would have been that would have been something the for highlight him. Of, to uh, to have received you know, a medal right. like that he would have been this guy we would have never heard the end of that. No. <laughs> Yeah, just like his, probably, just he, like his best driver of award. <laughs> well, his, uh, you know, the the thing that the outstanding guy yeah. the, the the medal or the the, the medal uh, and all they gave, he wore around for about two weeks. You know. Oh, he was so so <laughs> so. Uh, he would have done the same with. He with would that. have. He would have. He would have been so proud. Um. One of our followers says, hearing how almost childlike Elvis could be, and she means that in the best possible way, but just how, what was the cutest little boy type thing that you ever saw him do as an adult? <laughs> Ooh, let me think. I think. I think going around acting like an aunt. Yeah. From a movie. Uh, uh, yeah. Or, yeah. or like riding the, um, every, we'd watch a movie and then he'd get up, it was like horses, and he'd get up, they go from where he sat to the bathroom, he'd gallop like all the way up to, yeah. <laughs> and, and what was funny to me is just um, sitting in the middle of the bed and and um, the baby talk. Yeah. The baby talk. He, he would... Um, Linda baby talked to him all the time. Well, and that's he talked actually the next talk. question was to you. Did Elvis baby talk you like he did other f female friends and family? And did he do it sometimes when he wanted things or you to give in on something? Yeah, of course. So sure. that you would maybe I know, fall uh, for it. Uh, <laughs> we were in Hawaii and he, he said, because um, I, didn't, I didn't put my, I didn't wear my swimsuit to the beach. Uh, and he said... <laughs> And he had on his um, sweatsuit, and he, and everybody was swimming. He said, uh, "Joe, where's your little bathing suit?" <laughs> and I said, well, "Where's yours?" And he said, "Same damn place yours is." <laughs> <laughs> so, so that was the end of that. But he, yeah, he he would, and a, a lot of times he would um he'd pull the I don't feel good routine. Yeah. You know, uh, I I I've told this before, but. Billy was out there with him uh, one night, and I um, we'd come home from somewhere I can't remember where, and I had gone on out to our trailer that we lived up there, and um, the phone rang, and it was Elvis, and uh, he said, "I, I got I want to do something special just just for you. I want you to hear this, and I'm 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 doing it just for you." He said, uh, "Charlie, hold this, hold the phone." And he sang Danny Boy the whole way through to me on the phone. And when he got through, I said, that was beautiful. I said, I, you know, I'm, I, that was just beautiful. He said, you liked it? And I said, I, yeah, who wouldn't? I sure did. He said, well, he said, I was wanting to ask you something. He said, um, I'm not feeling real good tonight. <laughs> he said, and I thought, oh, hell, here it comes. <laughs> He said, I'm not feeling real good tonight. He said, um, would you mind if Billy stayed out here with me and spent the night? I said, okay. Okay. <laughs> I think Billy finally about six or seven the next morning came on came on out dragging in after that. After Elvis had gone to sleep. But that's just his, he was like that. He was just, you know, he liked to be petted. And, um... To, to get his way, he would 
you know. Do what it took. Do, yeah. <laughs> he would turn on the charm. Yes. <laughs> Um, we'll grab one more on this video. Um, you always hear about Elvis and Lisa, but uh, this fan is curious. How was Vernon and Lisa's relationship? Did um, did she have a hold of Vernon's heart, like yeah. oh, God, just yeah. like she did her yeah. daddy? She yeah. called him, if, if I'm not mistaken, Papa. Yeah. And uh, he was crazy about her. Yeah. He was crazy about her. I, I I've heard Billy say before, if um. If Aunt Gladys had been here, mm -hmm. uh, Elisa would have been even more spoiled. Oh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> because she would have loved her mm -hmm. Lord. And the, and she looked so much like Elvis anyway. Mm -hmm. You know, she probably would have, there, she could have had, had them tied around her mm -hmm. little finger. She did most everybody else anyway. She was just that one kind of little of girl. One of her twins, and forgive me because I'm, I'm not sure which is which, but one of them looks a whole lot like yeah. Gladys to me. Yeah, mm -hmm. one does. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not sure which one either. They're both beautiful mm -hmm. girls. Very they are, pretty they girls. are, and Riley too. I, I, I wish we had have known them. Um, like I said, I, I think about Lisa all the time, and that little face, just, you know, no, that little pouty lips and... It's just so hard to believe that, you know, that she's gone. It, it's, I, I, I tend to even forget sometimes that she's not really still, still here. here. Yeah. yeah. You, you know, you get to, you see a picture of her and you think, oh, that, you know, and, and then it mm -hmm. just, you know, it's a shame. It's just, you um, shock you all over again. It you know? does. It does. But, that's, can't go back. That's right. That's life, and you That's, can't change it. You nope. Know? No better. How bad it hurts. You know, it hurts right. you, and and you think of a lot of things. You know, that maybe you wish you'd have said or done or whatever. But uh, I know, as a little kid, she. Um, I, I know when she was at Graceland, she was happy. Mm -hmm. She was happy. Yeah. If you're happy and you know it. <laughs> but she she was she um she had a ball while she was there yep all right well that's all i've got for this okay. one and um everybody if you will hit like on our videos and subscribe we would appreciate it highly yes Goodbye. sir mm -hmm. Give me you welcome all elvis fans i gotta show my baby one time so bye bye join in <laughs> and, and to our channel with love to have you and Gosh, you know, keep sending your questions mm -hmm. in, and uh, we'll try to answer as many as we can. And uh, like I say, she said, and I, Joe said, you know, it brings back like a lot certain of, little stories, yeah. and you know, you can tell about them and answer the question. At the Baba same time. will soon be 15, 15 years old. in June. Yes. Baba was my penny. Yeah. You remember I lost my penny uh, back in December, sister. and Penny was six months older than Baba, their sisters. So. Yeah. And with that, I guess we'll end it all. And what do we always say? Elvis, Elvis fans, fans matter. matter. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching.